I've learned some important detail of the forensic test results and they rather explain perhaps why the Portuguese, the Portuguese police are so confident in their theory that Madeline's parents, one or other of them, uh, played a part in their daughter's death. Uh, the details are these, that the samples that came back last week by, after British test uh, in, the, in the UK, um, the samples produced three matches of Madeline's DNA. Now, in the apartment, uh, police found one full match on a windowsill, a full match of Madeline's DNA. Um, that's perhaps not so important because Madeline, of course, had been staying there for the best part of a fortnight uh, with her parents. Now, in the hire car, which was hired five weeks after Madeline's disappearance, the tests have showed a partial match of Madeline's DNA, which might be explained by transfer uh, onto clothes or other paraphernalia that the family were still using five weeks on. But this is the crucial thing. In the car, the scientists have also found another, a second full match. And police say that is the most damning evidence that's been returned by these forensic test results. And it shows, as far as they're concerned, the presence of Madeline's body in the hire car five weeks, at least five weeks, after she disappeared. And as I said, this begins to explain, I think, why the police are so adamant about their theory. Uh, and this, of course, is part of the evidence that the prosecutor here will start considering, we think, in the morning.